do stay. Yay. Oh my gosh, why does the sun have to be right in my face? More importantly, why do I have to choose a spot where it's right in my face? Because my family is inside the house and I don't want to do this in front of them, that's why. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I love the music, I love the lights, I love the giving, the joy, the everything, and I love the time and traditions that I have to spend with my family. But Christmas is also a very lonely and depressing time for me. So pretty much just like every other day. Because I've never had that extra special someone to share with. My one and only Christmas wish has never been fulfilled. This year, through my loneliness, excuse me. This year, through my loneliness and heavy darkness, I am noticing that God is trying to fill that void. Excuse me. Jeez. And showing me that I really do have people that really do think of me and care about me and showing me that I am so loved and they are the reasons why I should stay. So there are a few ways and I'm probably going to touch a bit more on those uh, in a future video. Um, but one way God is showing me this is through my friends giving me Christmas gifts. I have to confess, I love getting gifts almost as much as I love giving, although this year I do not have the money, so I apologize for everyone who's giving me gifts but aren't receiving gifts back. Why? Why? Oh, hi Sheldon. The force is not on my side today. And when it's something that comes from a friend, it has so much meaning to me and I treasure that gift forever because I treasure the person that it came from. And that is why my room is so very cluttered. Thank you friends for messing up my room. So I just wanted to share, um, share with you guys the gifts that I have received so far this year. I think I might have um, at least one more coming, but I haven't seen that friend yet. So, so first of all, um, I sent a matching Zelda necklace to a friend of mine um, who lives far away, and she sent back a Pokemon pin. Look at it, it's so cute. It's so cute. I freaking love this. So this pen came from my friend Sam. The next gift I have came from my friend Rachel. And it's this cute journal. Look at it, it's so cute. It has this lock and I can make my own um, combination to unlock it. I haven't done it yet, so all you have to do is open it up and right here are the instructions and they're all in Japanese <laughs> but they're in English too so that's cool <laughs> I am obsessed with journals um, my room is entirely full of journals and notebooks and I'm always needing more because I always have other ideas so um, if you ever need an idea to get like an idea for a gift to get me um, journals and notebooks are a very good idea. So, there you go. A little gift guide to Jazzy Watkins. Yes? Okay. You're not recording anything, are you? I am. <laughs> you can't see you. But you can hear me. <laughs> it's fine. You know what I'm about to say. Does this look okay? And I wanted to know. The other one looks good. Well, I can't see it because you're not wearing it. It's hot out here. It is. The sun's right in my face and burning through my sweater. You think? Yeah. So, um, my bestest friend, my bestest and one of my closest friends, Sheldon, 
Um, we have this thing. Um, we're both big fans of Benedict Cumberbatch, and one of our inside jokes is penguins. <laughs> Thank you, Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, so every time we see a penguin, I have to text him and say, Penguin! And so I saw this little penguin at, the, at Walmart one day, and I'm like, hey, you wanna be the bestest friend ever? And I told him to give me this penguin for uh, Christmas. And so he's like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> and then he went, hold on, someone's coming back. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. So he went to the store to go find this penguin, but he couldn't find it. So he asked for help and they still couldn't find it. Um, and so then he told me that he kept going back and he just couldn't find it anywhere. So he said that I'll just have to settle for getting a unicorn, which I would be totally happy about. But I still really wanted that penguin. <laughs> so he came and gave me a hug to church today and I saw a little bulge in his pocket. And I'm thinking that it's a unicorn. So I'm like, so what's in your pocket? And he pulls out a penguin. <laughs> And I'm like, you got the penguin! Yeah, so that made me really happy. He's, and so apparently, he got it three days after I told him the first time. <laughs> so thank you, Sheldon, for being the awesomest best friend a girl could ever have. Like, seriously. Like, you are amazing. And I know we joke about it a lot, but I really do love you. Um, I secretly hate you, but I love you. So I, I really wanted to share with you guys what Christmas meant to me. Um, and I honestly really could not um, like think of the right way to do it, but um, this quote did come to my mind from our late prophet Thomas S. Monson. Um, he said once, to catch the real meaning of the spirit of Christmas, we need only drop the last syllable and it becomes the spirit of Christ. And I think that is very true and it says it all. So I'm gonna stick with that. And now I just wanna say that um, I know that Jesus Christ is real. I have felt him. I know he was born and he died and he lives and he is our redeemer he is my redeemer christ is hope if it wasn't for him i surely would not be here today i surely would have ended my life a long time ago um, but because of him i'm always saved because of him i'm always comforted and because of him i am never alone because he is there and he hears me he knows my pain. He is so aware of me at every moment and all the same goes for all of you. God is your Heavenly Father. He is your God and Jesus Christ is your Savior. Um, yours to keep and yours to use. He's reaching out to you always and all you have to do is take his hand. It'll always be hard but just hold on to him and never let go. Never let go of the hands that love you the most. And that is all I have to say. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, the Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and whatever else other holiday you guys celebrate. So have happy holiday. Uh, so stay real and have a super sparkly day.